Hello again, I'm Luther FM bringing you another shirt video. This time it's the first video I'm doing um, with a football shirt. So I'm just going to do a, dis a disclaimer now. I don't obviously like endorse um, these companies that are doing it. Um, I understand there's obviously child labor issues going on, but when you think about it, when you think of all the, the legit companies out there, they're probably doing the same thing. So, and I can't afford to be paying 90 quid to 100 quid on a football shirt. So I've decided to go down the fake shirts route, mostly because I just wanted to just get a big collection of football shirts as cheap as possible, just so I can wear them for content, create content from it. Um, you know, so I went on DHgate and I, um, there was a mystery shirt supplier on there. Um, I won't obviously be giving the name out or anything like that, but you can find, if you literally go into DHgate and type in mystery football shirts, you'll find them. Um, I managed to get them on clearance as well, so they were about like five quid each plus postage. So I'm, I got like, I think I got 10 or 11 of them or something like that. So I have them here today, this massive bag. So we're going to go through them one by one. So what I'm going to do is show you it. I'm going to put, and then I'm going to pause it, put it on, and then just rinse and repeat until I've finished. So we're just going to pull out the first one, which is a Rangers away top, white one. Um, I have the home one from a couple of years ago, and it has no sponsorship logo on it. Um, again, with these fake football shirts, if you do decide to buy them, do not wash them like you normally would. Um, hand wash them or if you really want to put them in the machine put them in on a quick quick wash and then put them out to dry don't um do not put them in tumble dryer they will ruin try and prevent that from happening and also as well um just ideally don't get ones with shirt, uh, with numbers and names on it because they will come off quite quickly as well and just be aware that these shirts aren't as good as the real ones, so they won't last as long. But if you want to just wear these for like five a side or something like that, um, or just to wear them for the, you know, wear them for a bit, and then they're they're very cheap, like I said. Um, but yeah, I can tell straight away. I mean that that badge looks a bit dodgy. Oh, I just, I don't know. It's just a bit of plastic, I think, on here. It's just a bit of plastic. I think I can easily take that off, but. Um, or is it? I don't know. Yeah, it's just plastic I need to take off. Anyway, so here's the shirt. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stand up probably easiest way to do it. Yeah, there's the shirt, like so, and then on the back it's got echo. But it feels alright. It feels like a normal football shirt when I'm like holding it like this. So let me see, let me pause it and I'll be back in a sec and we'll see what it looks like on me. So this is meant to be a 4XL. There's no way this is a 4XL. It's so, it's quite tight on me. It's not very flattering as you can tell. Um, I am trying to lose weight, but at the moment I have to go with 4XLs. So this is a bit annoying. I hope the rest of these aren't the same and they're all massively tight on me. Now it's not an issue, for instance, it doesn't bother me. I can wear them for content because a lot of times you'll barely see this if the angle's like this. But it's not too bad. It doesn't look that bad. Um, yeah, so it's it's tight on me though. But I wouldn't wear it out and about. I wouldn't wear it any. Uh, like I said, I'm very self conscious about my summer. So yeah, this is not ideal, but uh, it is what it is. And then when I come back in a second, we'll have the next one. Uh, hopefully it'll be it'll fit better. But you yeah, know. You get what you pay for, don't you, everyone? So yeah, bear with us. Um, I did double check. It it says four XL. Obviously, on it's like it's on here. This um, it's here. This but like, the tags look legit as well. Obviously, so they are very good. It's a very if it was if I was thinner, let's be honest, it would probably be a very good shirt. Unfortunately, I need four XL at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm determined to lose about fifty pounds. So, so I can get to 2XL because there's a lot of retro football shirts, legit or fake, that I want to get. 
and I can't because they, the map they do is too FL, so it will make me more determined to do it, just so I can wear more football shirts, but it's, it's like I said, it's too tight on me. But let's hope the next one is better. Oh, God, I don't like the team. Liverpool, everyone. Ugh. As a Man United fan, I'm not going to be wearing this. I will give this to my mother, though, who's my stepdad. Um, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. He was a massive Liverpool fan, and when he died, um, she basically sleeps in his Liverpool shirt to remind her of him. So this will probably, she'll probably like this. But, um, yeah, let's open it off. Like I said, you won't see me wearing this. Get rid of the paper. Um, looks like a nice shirt, though. Again, I don't think this is a 4 XL either. I think it's very misleading. It's very tight. I don't think that's going to It's going to be similar to the Rangers one. But it is what it is. Like I said, get what you pay for. But it's a nice shirt. Um, the Liverpool fans here, the, the, the logo is pretty good. Um, embroidered. The two main badges here were embroidered. This has been heated, or whatever they call it, heated on, or whatever they call it. So, right, I'll have a look, and I'll be back in a sec with it on. Right, yeah, as I, as you can see, very tight on me. These are meant to be 4XL, so what probably happened because they're coming from China. 4XL, they probably think is actually 2XL. So if you're ordering these, I recommend you go two sizes bigger than what you are, just to be on the safe side, just to test it out. But yeah, not. I mean, if this one doesn't particularly bother me. I'm not going to wear it. This one will go to my mom. You won't see me normally in a Liverpool shirt, other than obviously showing up. But it's a nice shirt, for what it is, despite the theme. Um, yeah, like I said. Right. In a sec. All right, we've got the next one. Um, I think it's an Arsenal one. Yeah. So it's the Arsenal shirt recently. I don't know if it's recent or not. Um, I can't remember. I think it was last season or the season before. I remember this shirt though. Uh, little paper off it. Got the, the tags on and everything. Um, Aero ready. I'm hoping this fits a lot better. But by the looks of it, probably not. It's longer, so that might be a good thing. But yeah. Um, the logos at the top usually are um, stitched on, or what do they call it, embroidered on, and then this is stuck on from heat. So again, be very careful when you wash these shirts because our oh, fact is that you uh, don't know what. You know, after the washes, I'll probably do it. Now, if you're not bothered about that, if you're only going to wear them a couple of times and then you get new ones, that's fine. Um, the good thing about these is I ordered them about a week or two. No, probably not even up, probably just over a week ago, and they've already got here. So that's really good. And they come from China as well. But yeah, price. Let me see what this, how this fits me. I can say. Yeah, so here it is. It's not as tight as the other ones, but obviously still tight as a heavy set man. Don't, don't want to be self conscious. Um, showed my girlfriend, and she said, Bloody hell, that's bright. It definitely is bright. You definitely wouldn't miss me um, walking the street on a dark night, but yeah, um, it's it's tight, you know, it's all right. For instance, if I'm sitting down, it wouldn't be an issue, but walking around, it'd be very self conscious. But again, if you're not as heavy as me, then these are probably perfect for you. I recommend anybody that's not big as me buy these shirts by all means they're very cheap and you get them quite quickly i'm amazed how quickly i've got these shirts i was expecting to turn up in a couple of weeks but they've turned up today so yeah so it's a nice shirt um probably my favorite of the lot so far so yeah we're back in a sec for the next one right so the next one is a Bayern mini shirt so look it open I mean, you know, considering I played about five or six pretty, if I wasn't as, if I wasn't as fat as I am, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way towards me, but state the truth. You know, if I was like a two XL, or yeah, it would take it perfectly, really. Um, yeah, like I said, nice shirt. 
badges, logo, um, so look at this one. Yeah, they're embroidered, that piece. So common I think common theme here is two main logos at the top are embroidered. That one at the bottom, that one in the middle is not. And then that at the back. Right, let's see what this one uh, feels like on me. So yeah, the Adidas ones fit me better, but they're still tight. Um, yeah, similar to the Arsenal one, it's not as tight as the other two that I tried. Uh, the Rangers one was a story. Um, I think the Liverpool one might have been a story as well, actually. Or Pastirari, or whatever, however you pronounce it. So, yeah, so these fit better. I haven't had a knife one yet, so you never know. Um, oh, actually, you no, know, the Liverpool one was a knife one, so that's not a good omen. Um, so yeah, so it's not too bad. It's all right, but it just makes me barely stick up in it. Uh, this is great for my self esteem. Right then, back in a sec with the next one. Right, I thought I'd just stay standing because I keep sitting down and standing, sit down and standing. Just don't make sense. So, um, next one is a Newcastle away one. Uh, it's a story, so you can imagine this is going to be very tight on me. But let's open it up. See what it looks like. Like I said, they're very nice shirts. I'm quite impressed by the quality. I just wish they were actually a 4XL in UK terms and not what they think 4XL is. Um, right, there was a bit of plastic covering on the back of this, but yeah. That's that. Might be, the, might be the new away shirt, maybe? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. You have to find. That'd be nice. And UFD there on the back. Um, as always, they're embroidered on, that's stuck on. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice shirt. Let's see in a second what it looks like on me. Yeah, so as I said, this is a story. It's not as tight on me as the Rangers the story one, but I think maybe because the Rangers one was white, so it kind of just highlights more, whereas these colours are a bit more flattering on my belly. But yeah, it's still tight. Like I said, it's a decent shirt. Um, Nice embroidered badges. It's a nice shirt. I like the colour. I like the colour of it. And like I said, once I've lost all this weight, this shirt should be great on me. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about my weight. It's probably driving you all mad. Right, I'm back in a sec. We've got five more to go. So next one coming up. Right, so this one here is, I think, by that logo. I think it's Tunisia. I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments section. Or is it Turkey? No, is it Turkey? I think it might be Turkey. But yeah, so you know, I'll probably figure it out. I think that logo is the national team logo. Um, oh. oh yeah, I was right, Turkey. I was right the second time. So, uh, nice, well, red's my favourite colour. Nice plain shirt, nothing too exciting about it. But it's a knife. The Liverpool one was a knife, and that was quite tight on me. We'll see. Uh, I think this video is more about <laughs> me being more and more uh, happy about my body <laughs> as we go along. But yeah, like said, let's see what it looks like on me. Yeah, so the Turkey shirt, similar to the Liverpool one, is quite thicker hugging on me. Um, I apologise to anyone. I hope you're not eating your dinner while you're watching this video. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, quite tight. It's a nice shirt though. I like the colour. It, much, it kind of goes with my red. I've got some red Adidas tracksuit bottoms. I got these for my 40th birthday. So, um, yeah, quite nice. Match me nicely. And uh, go well with the mask. But yeah, like I said, if, if, if I'm doing a video and you can only see up to here, then it's fine. But I won't be going out anywhere in these. But yeah, not too bad. Right, I'll come back in a sec with the next one. Right, so next one, we've got our first Puma one. I think it gets a Borussia Dortmund one. In there, so let's open this up. With all the paper. My, uh, my dog loves ripping up all this tissue that they give you with it. Um, it's a nice shirt, this one. I've, got, I've always liked Dortmund shirts over the years. Um, look, some lovely detail on the pattern there. Badges are nice as always. Um, this is feel of yeah, embroidered, embroidered stuff on as usual. Yeah, you can see the pattern a bit better on the back. But yeah, right. Let's 
see what this one feels like on me. So yeah, this one's the Dortmund one on me, as usual, quite tight. But I think I'm getting used to it now, to be honest. I don't, I'm probably being very hard on myself. I, don't, I know it doesn't look the best, like I said, it looks quite tight on me, but there's probably a lot of blokes like me that wear these shirts and they're quite tight and they're probably not as bothered about it as I am. Um, but yeah, like I said, it will just motivate me to lose more weight. But yeah, nice shirt. Um, humour. Yeah, like I said, right, let's see what the next one brings us. So I've already opened up the next one just to save time, but yeah, here's the next one Adidas, Man United, away. Um, not too bad. Like I said, I'm a Man United fan, always fancy this shirt, so it's nice. Got it now. Um, yeah, got the nice, like I said, it's got the Man United logos, got the that there as well. Hopefully this one might be nice on me because I wouldn't mind wearing this to keep out and about. So back in a second. So this one actually fits alright on me. This it, there's a bit of um like a bit of room here as well. Like, this one's really good, so I'm really chuffed about this one. Um luckily because it's Man United probably that's probably why it fits better. You see. But yeah, that's stuff on heated, these are the embroidered. But yeah, not too bad. It's got the black tint of green on it. Yeah, fits me nicely. Um, feels like I said, it feels like a real football shirt. Um, yeah, so it's very good. Right, next one coming up in a sec. So, um, I'm a Man United fan, but I also have a soft spot for Leeds. Which most Man United fans would find atrocious. I lived in Leeds for a bit, and I went and seen Leeds for the time. I love the passion of the fans. This looks like a really cool piece of uh, really cool shirt, to be honest. From the of it. Very bright. I like wearing bright colours. Um, so I'm just wondering if it will fit me or not, but we'll see. I think one one out of the one out of the lot so far has fit me okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get a little bit of tissue. Yeah. Right, so Adidas again. Uh nice little nice Lee's logo. And move that out of the way. Nice Lee's logo. Look at the pattern though, the pattern's really cool, the colours are really nice. Well, um, that's in there. Flamingo Land, there you go. Yeah, pink shirt. I love me a pink shirt. I can't wait to show the girlfriend this in a sec. Right, I'll be back in a sec with it on. I'll let you know how it feels. Right, so here we are. Now, it's similar to the, the Man United one in the previous part of the video. It's got a bit of a... Yeah, I think that's one's fit me better. There's got a bit of a room, a bit of room in it, but I really like the colour. Like I said, I love wearing bright colours. Every all my mates know me as the guy that wears pink. So this is right up my alley. Um yeah, it feels it feels nice as well. It doesn't it doesn't feel itchy or anything like that. It feels like a nice shirt. Um but yeah. Right then, we've got the last shirt coming up next. So save time, I've already opened the last one and it is a Nottingham Forest one. Uh, it's a Bob Hazard, not the Forest one without the logo. Um, it's got the logos here embroidered on, and it's got um, that's heat, 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 whatever they call it, heated on. So it might come off. Um, back playing on the back, but yeah, pretty box standard. Bit of a disappointment when the video on, really, but still not sure. Don't get me wrong. It's my favourite colour red. Uh, but yeah, let's see what it feels like. On so out of all the shirts, this one actually feels the most comfy, like the most loose on me. Good. Um, like I said, it's just a stock bag, stock bog standard, not on the forest. These were embroidered on. That is heated on. That's heated on as well. So yeah, so the, like I said, when it comes to these shirts, when it comes to washing them, um, I will make sure that I all wash them or hand wash them if it comes down to it. Um, Never hand wash anything in my life, but my lovely girlfriend's going to tell me how to do it because there isn't, it's not just putting it in some cold water with some, um, what I thought was just put, put, it in, put it in with some cold water and some soap and just, just push it around for about five minutes. It's not as simple as that. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. If you have watched, um, I, if you want me, my thoughts, let me take that one.
you want my thoughts on this now? If you're not a big guy like me, oh my god, my mask all over the place. Sorry about this. Right. If you're not a big guy like me, I can't do anything until I get this sorted out. Is that any better? I don't know what's going on here. That's better, I think. Right. Yeah, sorry about that. Right. Um, if you're a big guy like me, then these probably aren't for you. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm 22 stone, or just under 22 stone. Uh, I am six foot one, so I can carry it a little bit better than some. If you're tall and not so, not as big as me, then I definitely recommend these shirts. They're very well priced. Like I said, I paid I think six quid plus postage, I bought 10 of them. So I think like, with postage and all that, like, I think it just looks about just under 100 quid. Now, I'm slightly disappointed because they were meant to be 4XL, but these are not 4XL. These what these are probably like a UK 2XL. So if you're a UK 2XL or below, and these are great. Um, I recommend if you're a, an XL, get these. If you're a large, get these. They will fit you lovely. Um, mystery shirt in DH. Just type in, go into DHK on the app on your phone. Um, type in mystery football shirt or mystery football jerseys. I can't remember and uh order it from there but yeah these aren't too bad to be honest like i said they aren't going to last forever but i'm not going to wear them all the time they're just going to be like the content like i've done and just wear them when i'm doing my football manager videos as well so if you if you like watching people playing football manager please feel free to subscribe and give my videos a watch um, i'm going to start a new build a nation save in georgia with George, with a team um, in Georgia called Dynamo Tbilisi, which is the team that Georgie Inkarty, who was who is a Man City and Georgia national team legend, played for. So I'm pretending to be him, and I'm managing Dynamo uh, to 